gardeners welcome back to my channel my name is Trisha and we are going to be doing a reptile room tour video today where you can see all of my animals and all of their enclosures and all of the updates that I have made so far I think the last time I filmed a reptile room tour was like maybe last spring or something again I do not remember you guys know how I am with time I like cannot keep track of things but I know that it's been a very long time and I have been consistently making so many changes in the reptile room. So I just thought I would share with you guys, even though I literally have more changes that are coming, I have so many other things that I plan to do. But here's a little update of where everything is right now and then once I make way more changes I'll just film another reptile room tour because I know you guys love these videos. So before I get started and show you all of the animals, I do want to give a couple of shout outs. The first shout out is to Zen Habitats, which is where most of my enclosures are coming from in this video. So please go ahead and check them out. They sell so many different options that can accommodate so many different species of reptiles. You should absolutely check them out. If you guys want to shop from their store, please use my affiliate link. It is in my description. I would really appreciate if you guys use my link. So the next shout out that I want to give is to Eco under score flies on Instagram. He is so amazing and sent me 500 black soldier fly larvae and it's something that I've tried before. I've ordered these types of bugs before online and by the time that I received them they had like wings and they were not feedable to my animals so I kind of just gave up hope on that after that experience but this experience was such a positive one and these worms are so healthy for your animals and they did not turn into any other type of bug they did not have wings when they arrived and it's really cool because he sent it with some directions as well that way you know how to take care of them and you can make them last a long time for your animals as well which is such a plus so he actually has a YouTube video on the nutritional value of the black soldier fly larva as well. So I will also put that in my description. But you should absolutely check him out. Buy yourself some black soldier fly larva for your animals. And if you guys do shop from him, you can save 5% by using my discount code, which is Reptilian Garden at the checkout. So yeah, get your animals some bugs, check out Zen Habitats, and I hope that you guys enjoy this video of all of my animals in their enclosures. Please leave me a comment and let me know your thoughts, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So starting off in my living room, this is the only reptile that I have out here. This is Lulu, my yellow belly slider, and here's Chacho. Chacho! Hi, baby. Um, so this is a 75-gallon tank. And she is right there. I just installed a water heater for her because it gets really cold out here and winter is coming. So she's going to be set for this winter. Um, and then this is her basking area that I built out of egg crate that has UVB and heat in it as well. She usually like goes across the two of these and like balances when she's basking. But here she is. She's being shy. Oh so, yeah, that is Lulu and her setup. And Chacho is just tucking in. What are you doing? You cutie. So we're going to move on to my bedroom. Guys, okay, so now we are in my bedroom where I have this racking system with some of my animals. So we're going to start from the bottom and then move our way up. So this enclosure, I don't remember the size. I think it's... You guys, I really don't remember the size. It's an Exoterra, but like that's all I remember. So I don't know what size it is. And again, I have my labels. So this is for Ponyo, my tiger salamander. His live plants are still doing fantastic in this setup, which makes me so happy. I'm glad that he hasn't just completely trampled them. And there is Ponyo, my little tiger salamander who is adorable and always wants food. So he is primarily in that back corner over there in the plants and he just like hides there all day. I put this whole thing over here. It was supposed to be like a burrowing thing. He could hide inside of it or go underneath of it and he literally does not use it at all. But it's just there. He climbs on top of it. That's like the only thing he does. And now he's slowly working his way over. He's such a little creep but I love him. He just has the cutest face. So yeah, that is my little Ponyo. He's doing fantastic and I love him and he's just way too cute. So this is his enclosure and then this type of enclosure is exactly what the next one is and it belongs to Mango, my African fat tail gecko. 
So let's go ahead and take a peek at her. So this is her enclosure. She has a naturalistic background. This is a bioactive substrate. Um, she actually likes to hide under here. And there she is. How perfect. Hi, baby. We take a little look at you, my little cutie pie. I love her so much. She just, oh my goodness. Between her and Ponyo, this is like the cutest little layer of animals, I think. Whoa! So yeah, she is super active in here. She has a heat pad. I tried using a heat bulb on this enclosure and she just did not utilize it. She did not seem happy. She was way less active. So I went back to the heat pad and she's way more active now and comes out all the time, but she's nocturnal, so she's supposed to be sleeping right now. So she's like, hello, I don't wanna be out right now. And then her live plant, this one's doing fine. This is the plant I'm having issues with with all of the other enclosures but there's not as much light in here. So I think that's why it's doing so much better in here. So yeah, there's Mango and her enclosure. And you can hear my dog scratching at the door. Being a little cutie, always wanting attention. Yes, you cannot climb like on my face right now. You're so low. All right, so we are gonna move on up to this enclosure, which is a 40 gallon enclosure for peaches, my red footed tortoise. So her enclosure is very basic. I don't really have much going on. That's what I always hear to do for tortoises, but I really want to redo her enclosure. I think the next upgrade that I do is going to be for her. So she just has a log that also functions as a hide that she goes in. That's just a little decoration tortoise thing. Here is her water bowl and she is climbing up to go bask. And that is a little flower pot that she also hides in. She likes to sleep in there. So we're gonna take her out so you can get a little view of her in the sunlight. She is growing so much. And we had a little issue. She's been having a fungus on her shell. It is looking a lot better. I've been treating her for it. So I'm making a whole video on that because it's definitely a learning process for me. But other than that, she is growing so much. Like look at how big she is. She used to be so tiny. I got her in January. She's just grown so much. I love this little babe. She's so cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and put her back. So then moving on up, this is one of my favorite enclosures, but it's so hard to see because of the glare. Um, this I think is like a 40 gallon. It's like a really weird size tank, but it's very spacious and has a lot of floor space. So it's perfect for my leopard gecko kiwi. So I'm going to go ahead and get my stepladder so we can figure out where Kiwi is. That way you can see him. He has been doing so well in this enclosure. I just absolutely love how this turned out. So here is a top view of the enclosure. You can see his little tail in that hide. Um, I made a video on how I made this entire enclosure. There's a lot of different climbing areas all along the back and succulents everywhere. And then there's like a little hiding area in this corner. And then there's another hiding area all the way in that back corner over there. So he has been doing so good. Are you like attached to this thing? There we go. So yeah, here is Kiwi. Something I've noticed that I love. So he has always had stuck shed on his fingers and toes. And ever since I moved him onto a substrate, he has not had any of that. He's been having perfect sheds and there is no issue, which makes my life so much easier. So he's been doing fantastic. I love this little guy and I love seeing how active he is in his new enclosure. And that completes all of the enclosures that are currently in my bedroom. So now we are moving to the reptile room where I just have tons of stuff everywhere. I've made a ton of changes. It's super bright right now. I don't, I think that we're just gonna start over here. No, we'll start over here. Okay, so when you first walk into the reptile room, I have this rack and Metamora and Oakley are now over here because I have all of these other Zen habitats that I stacked. So I moved a lot of things around. So over here, starting at the left, is Metamora, my green tree python. So this is a 2x2x2 two by two by two Zen Habitat enclosure. It's made of PVC, and I love this enclosure. And all of the labels that I have, I have all of these please do not tap on the glass. I live here um, labels, and these are from Natalie Bitos on Etsy. 
And then I have all of these labels as well. These are from Cloud Forest Design on Instagram. So check him out and check her out because they're awesome. So now we are going to take a look inside this enclosure. So here is Metamora. Um, she is turning so beautiful. I might take her out just to show you guys in the sunlight because she just looks so cool and she's getting all of these new colors. Um, but she has a bioactive enclosure with a lot of live plants. I have um, a new heat. I have a heat with UVB in this one and then this is just an extra like low wattage heat just to make sure she's getting the proper temperatures because that one wasn't enough. Yeah, I love this enclosure. It's very spacious for her. So I'm going to go ahead and take her out for you guys if I can. Head is on the other side. Do you want to come out and say hi? She's getting a ton of blue on her face, which is just absolutely stunning. She has blue on her tail too. She's just a gorgeous, gorgeous snake. She's so beautiful. Look at the blue. You can see it. Um, yeah, I'm obsessed with her. She's just... She's the best. Um, everyone always asks me how I can handle her and stuff. And honestly, with green tree pythons, like, you just got to give them their boundaries. She lets me know when she doesn't like something, and I listen to her, and that's pretty much it. So, yeah, there is Metamora in all of her glory. So I'm going to go ahead and put her back, and we will move on to the next reptile. So moving on from Metamora's enclosure over to here, this is an 18 by 18 by 24 for my crusty gecko Oakley. I think her butt is actually up there. I'm just gonna take her out and show you guys. Hi, baby. Yes. Do you want to just come out like that? Okay. So here's Oakley. She just laid another egg recently, which was really surprising because I haven't bred her for like over a year. And it's actually fertile and incubating. So we're going to see if it turns out. Um, and this is her enclosure. She has been actually going in here and hiding, which is amazing because she didn't utilize that at all for like the first month that I gave it to her. So yeah, she's been doing great in this enclosure. I'm thinking about going bioactive, but I'm probably going to do it. There are a lot of changes I want to make with my geckos, so they're probably going to be my next big project. But yeah, this is her current enclosure and there is my beautiful girl. So then moving on from Oakley is my Veiled Chameleon Banba. This is a Repti Breeze 2x2x4 two by two by enclosure and it is all screen. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at Banba who wants to come out. Do you want to come out baby? He's like oh I don't know. He acts like that and he's weird but then when I pull away a lot of the time he's like no I do want to come out. We'll just leave you in there. But yeah, he's doing fantastic. He had surgery. I don't remember what month it was, but he had a big lump right in the center right there. And he had stitches for the longest time and we got them out and it all healed so well. And he's just doing so great and he's so beautiful. So I'm very happy with how this guy is doing after his surgery and his recovery and everything just healed up so nicely. And he's just active and social and his normal self. So very happy about that. So his enclosure has a ton of fake plants and then we have this live plant down here as well. So yeah, it's kind of filled out. He has stuff everywhere, but he is a very happy guy and he is beautiful. So then moving on from Banba, we have this tank right here. This is a 55 gallon tank and it is for Janemba, my pixie frog. He has some water in here, the swimming area is that corner, and then it goes along the front right here. And then this is his main area that he can just sit in all of the dirt and burrow, which is what he does all the time. He does come out to swim every now and then, and he constantly is croaking. So we're going to go ahead so I can get a better view of this guy for you. So here is Janemba. It is so hard to hold him with one hand. He is so big. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to let him go back and do his thing. He is so cute. He eats so much and yeah, he is just like the best frog. I love him. So that completes all of the animals on this side of the room. So now we are going to move on to the area that I've been working on the most lately and these are my new zen habitats for my two ball pythons and then Bowie, my Brazilian rainbow boa, is on the bottom. So I think that we're going to start at the top. I literally just put Casper in this enclosure so I'm finally able to film this video because I just filmed the other video revealing this Halloween enclosure. So if you haven't checked that out, please go ahead and do that. 
So this is Casper's Enclosure. This is a, another Zen Habitat PVC. This is a 4 by 2 by 16 inch enclosure. And there are multiple hiding places and things to climb on, places to hide in this enclosure. Um, I think... Oh, he moved. He was... Okay, he is in his warm hide right now. So let me just show you the enclosure. First of all, I love the rainbow that's coming in right now. It's sunny today, so I was like, I need to film this today before it gets cloudy and cold. So this is the cool area. This is, he has a hide there with that cork bark. There's another cool hide and then another cool hide in there. Um, and then there's a water bowl. This is the little Halloween magic ball, whatever. Um, this is another place for him to climb on with some driftwood and then just some plants. Um, he has the fake Venus fly traps all along the background. It's a naturalistic background. So yeah, I, I'm just in love with this enclosure. It was so much fun to make. I wish I could just make more, but like I'm out of room. So we're going to go ahead and take a peek at Casper. Knocking all of this stuff over. So here is Casper. He's like literally blending in with the white wall. He's just so white. Hi, cutie. He is settling in really great. He's a great eater. He's been shedding and pooping and just doing fantastic. So I love this snake. He's just so stunning. And I just, I'm obsessed with him. And it seems like he really has been enjoying his new enclosure. So yeah, he is just doing so great. I love this snake so much and I love this enclosure. So then we're going to go ahead and move down to the next enclosure, which is the other one that I'm just like obsessed with. So this is Chaos's enclosure. My banana, actually he's not a banana, he's a coral glow ball python. Um, so this is, again, this is the warm hide. This is like the warm side for uh, the two ball pythons because they have heat pads on this side. Um, and then there's just like foliage and flowers and things everywhere. That driftwood over there. He loves it. He is always on that thing at nighttime. He looks like a green tree python. So this enclosure has more of like a jungle theme to it. Um, there's like a moss hide over there. Where is he? I think that he is in the warm hide. There's some live plants, a water bowl, just all the necessities. I hope this plant survives. Fingers crossed because I have a hard time with that plant specifically and I always forget the name of it. So I'm pretty sure Chaos is in the hide over here. So we're going to go ahead and take a peek at him. There he is. Hi, baby. Oh my goodness, I know I'm moving all of this stuff on you. I'm sorry. Here is Chaos, my coral glow ball python. He's like, what are you doing to me? Hi, baby. We wanted to say hello to you. Um, so yeah, he is so thick. He's getting so big lately. Um, but I'm obsessed with him. He is a sweetheart. I love this snake so much. He is just the best. So I'm going to go ahead and put him back in his enclosure. I'm just going to set you there so I can put your hide back. Um, he's still eating live rodents, which is annoying, but I mean, he's got to eat. I got to give him what I know he will eat. So that's where we're at with that. But, um, He's like, what did you do to me? He just like looks like he's having a crisis right now. I'm sorry. But yeah, I'm obsessed with this enclosure. I absolutely love how it turned out. And he utilizes every single part of it. He's so active. I love seeing him come out every single night. So I'm just very happy with this. Again, this is another Zen Habitat. This is another 4x2x16 by by inch enclosure. And that is Chaos. So then moving down to this enclosure, which is kind of hard to see because of the light coming in. This is a black PVC 4x2x16 by by inch enclosure as well. And this is for Bowie, my Brazilian rainbow boa, who is peeking out right now. Hello, baby. So I don't know if we're going to be able to see the enclosure very well. I do have a light that I put on the side. I just like click it on right there. But at, during the daytime, you like can't really see everything. So I don't know. I'm going to try and figure it out. But we're going to take Bowie out. That way you guys can see her because she's stunning. And Chaos is like, I am out of here. I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry I disturbed you. 
So I need two hands to take Bowie out, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and try to get her out. She is so heavy and thick now. So here is Bowie, my Brazilian rainbow boa. She is so big, you guys. It's like really harsh in the sunlight, but I want you guys to be able to see her iridescence. But it's like too overly bright to do it. Um, but here's her cute little face. I love this snake. She was my first snake and she was so tiny and now she's just so huge. Um, it's hard to tell, but she, I swear, like right now my arm is like shaking. She's just so big and stunning though. Like look at that iridescence on her. I love you, but you're so heavy. So this is her cool hide and I installed a radiant heat panel up there. So it's been keeping the enclosure a lot warmer, which is definitely a necessity for the winter time because since she's on the floor, it gets really, really cold in here. And I use a space heater, but the heat pad just wasn't cutting it and the heat panel really just warms up the whole enclosure. So she primarily is over there. She has a large piece of cork bark that she hides in over there, but again, she's always on the cool side. I've noticed that with Brazilian rainbow boas, for some reason, they all just like to be on the cool side. So I don't know. Every other owner tells me that theirs is the same way. So it's interesting. But yeah, look at how big she is. Where are you going? She's just massive, you guys. So big. But I love her. So I'm going to go ahead and put her back in the enclosure. It's like so overly bright and the sunshine, her iridescence is popping, but like right now on the camera, you can't really see it. So I'm very sorry. Technical difficulties. I've been having this issue a lot lately with the sun coming in here. So yeah, there is Bowie. By the way, I'm not sure how long she is. She's probably like five or six feet, most likely six feet at this point. She's huge. So that completes all of these enclosures over here. So now moving on to these Zen habitats. Oh my goodness, we will start at the top because Chancho finally woke up. This is again another Zen habitat. This is another four by two by 16 inch enclosure. This is for my blue tongue skink Chancho who has just woken up and is so sweet. Look at that cute little face. So this guy has tamed down so much. He lets me pick him up and he doesn't like it, but he tolerates it much better than he ever used to so he is like a large potato now he is so big he's grown so much and he's just an amazing eater and just has like the cutest personality so he loves this enclosure i have um i think i'm using josh's frog's bio bedding for this one and then a ton of moss on top and he loves to burrow in it and he has these cork bark pieces throughout his enclosure and he burrows underneath of them and has all of these tunnels his water bowls over there so he is a very happy guy he's always active and doing something unless he's sleeping like he literally will just like some days he'll just decide to just sleep all day and i'll just see his little face come out from like the moss and it's the cutest thing ever so there is my little chancho and by the way these enclosures the pvc are so good with locking in humidity which is so important for an indonesian blue tongue skink so like look at that humidity level on point very happy skink. He has um, heat up here, by the way, and UVB to lock in more humidity. We have the substrate shield. These come with all of the Zen Habitat enclosures as well as the substrate shield. So just love them. They're the best. So um, moving down, we have again another Zen Habitat 4x2x16 by by inch enclosure. These ones are probably just my favorite. I love this size. So this is for my corn snake, Bloom, who has the naturalistic snake on the back of his enclosure. I have the whole build on a video if you guys want to check that out. And I'm not sure where he is. His warm hide is over here, but I'm not going to lie. He like never uses it. He's always on the cool side. Um, he has a large water bowl and some things over there. So he usually goes into this hide over here, which is like a little castle thing. And I can already see he's in there. So this guy has gotten so big. <laughs> Here he is. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get him out of this thing, but I just want to like show you guys him. Hi, cutie. Hi, we want to say hi to you. 
He is so thick and growing so much. He has like the most intense appetite. He is just, he's the best. I love this snake so much. And he's being so shy. He doesn't want to come out. Hi, baby. So he is a plasma corn snake for anyone that is unaware. And he is just a little sweetheart. And he's so active. He's so entertaining. If you want an entertaining snake, get a corn snake. I swear. So yeah, that is Bloom. So I'm going to go ahead and put him back and let him do his thing. It's so funny because um, there's a little window, that little hole, and he treats it like it's his house and he just like pops his little head out of there when he thinks he's going to be fed and he just looks at me and it's like the cutest little thing. It's like he's just peeping out of his little house, his little window, and he's like, hello. I don't know. I love this snake. I'm a weirdo. And I love this background. I think it turned out so cool. And this enclosure is so spacious for him. So he loves it. And I love it. It is the best. So moving down, this is a four by two by two Zen Habitat enclosure that is made of wood. So this is my only wood enclosure because this is for my bearded dragon. Dude, that is his dirty food bowl from yesterday that I need to clean out. Um, this is from Reptibox Creations. If you want something for a bearded dragon or a leopard gecko, I highly recommend them. These pieces are so cool. Um, then he has some random like succulents throughout this enclosure. He has his UVB and heat. Um, this is his basking area. He has different wooden things to climb on. That's a fake lavender plant over there. I'm going to zoom in so you can see him. He is tucked in his bed right now, which I just bought him yesterday. Everyone has beds for their bearded dragons, and I finally got one for him. He didn't know how to use it at first, but now I think he loves it, and he literally isn't coming out of it. So yeah, there is Dude. He is my baby. He is eight years old, and I love him to death. So that is Dude, and this is his amazing enclosure. We have some calcium that spilled under there that I need to clean up. This is a Zen mat that I'm using for the bottom. Also sold at Zen Habitats. Love them. If you guys want to check out Zen Habitats, the link is in my description. So yeah, this is Dude's wonderful enclosure. Very spacious. Even though he's not the most active guy, I like to give him a lot of space. So yeah, that completes all of the Zen Habitats on this wall. So now we are going to move up to the geckos. So moving on, first of all, I want to show off my crystals because they look so pretty. And I colored this, you guys. Very proud. I colored that when I was in high school. And I love that thing. And I really want to get more fuzzy boards, but I can never find ones that I like that are like reptile related. So whatever. Anyway, we're moving on to my gecko enclosure. So all of these are 30 gallon enclosures that are tipped on the side and have screens on them. So we're going to start with Citrus right here, who is a gargoyle gecko. So here is Citrus. Citrus loves to jump. Are you gonna jump in your enclosure? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so um, Citrus has different things going on, climbing perches, plants all over. Um, these plants always fall. These are supposed to be like up there, but you know, it happens. I'm thinking about redoing like all of my gecko enclosures because I honestly, I don't know. I want to go bioactive, I think. I can't because like the top, I can't use like UVB, which I also want to give them. Like I am going through a lot of different thoughts right now with my gecko enclosures. But um, yeah, this is Citrus. Citrus is gorgeous. She is a girl. I always call her a boy because I'm used to thinking that she is a boy. But yeah, this is her chaotic enclosure right now with plants falling down. All right, so I just hung her stuff back up. It's just so chaotic in here. So yeah, there is Citrus. She is such a beauty. I love this gecko. She's just so gorgeous, so red. Um, so yeah, that is her enclosure. So we're going to move on to the next one. So this next enclosure belongs to Sunny, my gargoyle gecko. And she, I believe, is in this cork round hiding and I'm not going to be able to get her out. So I'm just going to have to show you a picture of her so you know what she looks like because there's no way I can get her out. But this is her enclosure. And this enclosure belongs to Chip, my Dalmatian, frog butt, crusty gecko, who also just like goes in these cork rounds during the day and I cannot get him out. Like there's absolutely no way. 
So I'm going to have to show a photo of him as well because he, I cannot get out. But this is his enclosure. And this is Baby Bamboo's enclosure. My baby Dalmatian Crested Gecko who is sleeping on the floor right here being adorable. So this is Chip's son. I'm not sure if it's a boy or a girl. Still juvenile, so we're going to have to wait and see. But this is Bamboo. He is growing so much and he has so many spots and he has his mom's eyes and he's just like the cutest thing ever. I love this little guy and he is very active in this enclosure. He loves it. So I'm very glad that I gave him an upgrade early because he absolutely utilizes it. And that is Bamboo.